The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Then they came up to Capernaum on the Sabbath. Jesus entered the synagogue and thought. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he thought them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A newly ordained priest approached an older brother priest, asking him if he could lend him a vestment. What we wear is a vestment. Sabi niya, Kuya, hindi pa ako nakakaipon. Baka naman ako pwede makahiram ng vestment sa iyo kasi wala pa akong vestment para sa Holy Week. And this older brother priest said to him, You go to the sacristy, you choose. Piliin mo yung gusto mo. Sabi niya, yun na lang pong ipapahiram mo. So sinamahan siya nung pari. At pinili nung pari yung pinakapaborito niyang basement. At pinahiram do sa batang pari. At sabi niya, paborito ko yan, gamitin mo. Alalahanin mo lang ako sa iyong misa. But during Holy Week, naaksidente yung batang pari. Binawian siya ng buhay. That's why in his funeral, ang pinasuot sa kanya yung basement na hiniram niya. And we were sharing about this story. We were sharing about this story. Sabi ko doon sa Mas nakakatandang pari, sabi ko, nako, hindi ako manghihiram ng basement sa iyo. Ano Nakakamatay pala. Ano po? But of course, kidding aside, sabi niya, alam mo, paano kung hindi ko siya pinahiram? Paano kung hindi ko siya pinahiram? Tapos, yun na lang pala ang huli niyang misa. It will be my greatest regret for the rest of my life. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, truly I say to you, your greatest regret is not that you have failed, but you did not try. Remember that. You will great, your greatest frustration, your greatest regret, is not that you have not tried or not because you have failed but because you have not tried. You know, I'm wearing a basement bigay ito ng isang pari. Last December, tinabi-tabi ko ito eh. Waiting for a special occasion. But when I read his letter, sabi lang niya, Please wear my gift. And as you wear it, remember my intentions in the altar. Kaya sabi ko, Uy, kunan mo nga ako. At pinadala ko sa kanya 
At ang reply lang niya, You have honored me by wearing it. Why I'm sharing this to you? <clears throat> Because sometimes we always wait for a special occasion. We always wait for a special occasion to wear something special. But that special occasion might not come. So, enjoy the moments. Wear it. Honor the people who has loved you, who has been loving you, and the people you love. What is the second reading trying to tell us? What are your anxieties? What are your worries? When God said, do not worry, do not be anxious, it is because God knows that we are worried and we are anxious. What are your worries? Ano sasabihin ng ibang tao? Ano sinasabi nila tungkol sa iyo? What are your worries? Totoo kaya sinasabi ni St. Paul na pag ikaw ay dalaga o binata, ang worries mo ay, paano ko kaya pupurihin ng Diyos? Ano kaya ang gagawin ko para kapuri-puri sa Diyos? Yan ba talaga ang worries ng mga dalaga at binata ngayon? Yan ba talaga ang laman ng inyong mga isipan? Na nag-iisip kayo kung ano ang mga bagay na ikalulugod ng Diyos? Ang worries ba talaga ng mga may asawa ay ano? Paano ko pasasayahin ang aking misis? Paano ko pasasayahin ang aking mister? Yan ba talaga ang inyong mga anxiety? Ask yourself, what are your worries? But the sad reality, that is not our anxiety. Husbands are not worried regard, with regard to their wife, nor the wife are not worried with regard to their husband. I know stories that the only wear, worries of some husbands and wives are, kailan kaya mamamatay ito? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, what are your worries? Today we are celebrating the Feast of St. John Bosco. Whatever you do, you can run, you can jump, you can do anything except sin. Except sin. Are we worried of not committing sin? Are we really worried that we are not, we, we are hurting one another? Ano sinasabi sa first reading? God has given us prophets to remind us of His words. And for those who failed to listen, they will be held answerable. And for those who speak not according to the words of God, they will die. That is how serious the words of God. Even Satan are worried. Ano sabi ng demonyo sa Ebanghelyo? Ano sabi niya kay Jesus? Are you here to destroy us? We know you. Even the demons are worried. Lahat may pinag-iisipan. Lahat may inaalala. Lahat mayroong pagkatakot. I cannot deny that sometimes I am affected with a prayer request from someone who are helpless, watching, accompanying their mother, their father, their sick brothers and sisters in the hospital, and they can do nothing except prayer. Regardless of the love, kahit gaano kamahal, kahit gaano ang pagluha, kahit gaano ang panalangin, sadyang walang naitutulong sa isang may sakit na naghihingalo. It's good to remember that life is short and death is certain. Who, who knows that that brother priest will die sooner? Walang nakakaalam. But who among us, who among you, can really say that you will be here tomorrow? Who among you? Who among us can really say that we can still be alive tomorrow? 
Nobody. Nobody. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, well, you have your own anxieties. But perhaps, I would like to challenge or to ask you, can you not be the reason of others' anxiety? Can you not be the reason of others' anxiety? Nananawagan ako sa mga anak. Sana alam ninyo ang mga prayer intentions ng inyong mga magulang. Ang hirap ng buhay, dagdag ka pa sa problema. Sabi nung isang ina, hindi ko maintindihan itong anak ko, Father. May asawa na, wala pa rin ginagawa kundi nakatutok sa cellphone. Pag pinagsabihan mo, magwawala, ibubunto ng sama ng loob kung hindi sa asawa, sa mga anak, kawawa naman. Kawawa naman. Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. And many times I've said this, many have failed in their marriages not because they are poor, not because what? They have none, but because they have failed to let go of their single life. Magandang pagtunan ng pansin ito. What are your worries? What are your anxieties? O wala, kasi wala kang pakialam. Wala kang worries, wala kang pagkatakot, kasi wala kang pakialam. Marami sa atin walang pakialam. Sinasabihan ko yung iba mga magulang, kung kayo mayroong pagkakataon, idaan nyo ang inyong mga anak sa harapan ng parokya kung hindi Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. Tingnan nyo yung mga nakapila para sa isang kanin isang ulam. Alas 4.30 ang bigayan, Alas dos, nandyan na sila. Nakahiga na sila. Nagaantay na sila. Nakapila na. Kung hindi man ang chinelas, bag o bato. Nandyan. Yan na lang ang laman ng isip. Pero ang anak mo, nakatiwangwang, nakabuka ka dyan, pagulong-gulong, tamad. Sorry for the words. At nagre-reklamo, ito lang ang ulam. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, what are your worries? What are your worries? Sadya bang wala ka ng pakialam sa nararamdaman ng iyong magulang? Kaya ganun na lang ang iyong pagtataas ng boses? Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. Okay, sana yung wala kang inaalala. Pero dagdag alala, alala ka ng mga magulang mo. Pati nga sa online classes, di ba? No? Magulang na ang nag-aalala. Hindi ko alam kung nakita niyo yung picture dalawang nana yan sumasagot sa module. Sabi ng isang nanay, anong pangarap mo sa anak mo? Sabi niya, sana maging doktor. Ikaw, anong pangarap mo sa anak mo? Sana maging engineer. Buti pa tayo, may pangarap. Yung mga anak, wala. Kaya ayusin natin ang sagot dito para maging engineer at maging doktor. Ano na lang ang kinabukasan ng mga batang ngayon? Pinagtatawanan natin. But this is who we are today. This is who we are today. Alam mo, kahit gaano kabuti ang iyong mga magulang, kahit ano ang kanyang panalangin, kahit ipagsiksikan ka niya sa Diyos, ikaw pa rin ang magdidesisyon kung gusto mong pumasok sa pinto ng langit. 
kahit gaano kabuti ng iyong mga magulang, hindi kanya pwedeng inguya ng pagkain at ilunok para ikaw ay maging malusog. You have to decide for yourself. It's either you are for God or against God. My dear children, you will not be young forever. Don't waste your life. Again, I say to you, your greatest regret at the end is not that you have failed, but you have not tried. I cannot solve your problems. The least I can journey with you. But hopefully, we are walking together towards a common goal. Today, we are celebrating Pro-Life Sunday. And when we talk about life, it is not mere existence, but quality of life. Our goal is not to live long, but to live well. And when we talk about living well, hopefully, we are not the cause of anxiety. And we are not causing the anxiety of our parents, of our children, of our spouse. Do not wait for tomorrow. Because tomorrow might not come. Do not wait for a special moment. So that you will say, thank you, I love you. Do not wait for that. Do not wait for moments when you will say, magsusori na ako, magbabago na ako. It might not come. It might not come. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, as Don Bosco have said, St. John Bosco have said, hopefully, your anxiety is how to make or how to please God and how to give glory to the God who created you. It is the only real anxiety on how to please God, on how to give glory to the God who created you. Kung hindi man kita mapapasaya, sana hindi ako ang dahilan ng iyong kalungkutan. Kung hindi man kita mapapagaling, sana hindi ako ang dahilan ng iyong karamdaman. Kung hindi man kita mapapatawa, sana hindi ako ang dahilan ng iyong pagluha. Kung hindi man kita kayang palakasin, Sana hindi, ikaw, hindi ako ang dahilan ng iyong kahinaan. Kung hindi ko man mapapahaba ang iyong buhay, sana hindi ako ang dahilan para ikaw ay sumuko at wag nang lumaban. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, we have our own worries. We have our own anxieties. But as St. Paul have said, why worry for tomorrow? You have enough worry for today. Don't wait for the right moment to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I thank you. Don't wait for tomorrow, for tomorrow might not come. Amen. Next Sunday, the first Sunday of the month, we will pray in a special way for all those who are celebrating their birthday for the month of February. First Sunday next month. Bukas, February na. 11 months na lang. Pasko na naman. On Tuesday, February 2, the Feast of the Presentation, or it is more known locally as Piesta ng Candelaria, we will have blessing of candles in our 7 o'clock a.m. Mass. So if you are attending online Mass, kindly prepare a candle and it will be blessed during the Mass. Ano pa? Candelaria. Iba po yung candelabra. 
yung kandilabra. Yan po lalagyan ng kandila. Ano po. Going back to what I've said, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, what are your worries? What are your anxieties? Sabi daw ng Cebuano, anxiety. Ano? Anxiety. Anxiety. Ano, ano yung anxiety? May bonus kaya anxiety. Ano pa? Yari ka mamaya. Ano pa? What are your worries? What are your anxieties? If you are not worrying what can give God glory or what can give praise to the God who created you, then it's a worthless worry. Why worry for tomorrow? We have enough worry for today. But hopefully this is our goal that we are not the cause of worry, of worries and anxiety of other people. Sana hindi tayo ang dahilan ng kanilang mga iniisip at pag-aalala. Sana nga totoo na ang iniisip ng dalaga at binata ay paano nila paglilingkuran ang Diyos. Sana nga totoo na ang iniisip ng mga misis ay kung paano pasasayahin si Mister at ang iniisip ni Mister ay kung paano pasasayahin si Mrs. Sana totoo. Ano po? Alam nating hindi. But, if you cannot give joy, hopefully, you are not the cause of sorrows. Kung hindi ka makapagbibigay ng buhay, hindi ka o sanang dahilan para mawag, mawala ng pag-asa ang isang tao na mabuhay. Kung hindi ikaw ang dahilan ng kalusugan, sana hindi ikaw ang dahilan ng pagkakasakit. Kung hindi ikaw ang dahilan ng kasaganahan, sana hindi ikaw ang dahilan ng kahirapan. Kung hindi ikaw ang dahilan ng pagtawa, sana hindi ikaw ang dahilan ng pagluha. Kung hindi man ikaw ang dahilan ng kalakasan, nawa hindi ikaw ang dahilan ng kahinaan. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ingat po palagi.